All right, guys, prep day 32. The plan is to hit a chest day today. I know I've been a little off in my uploading. I missed a, a usual day of upload for, for a good reason. I, uh, well, our gym has been overhauling pretty much like all the machine equipment. So it's just been a mess in the gym and it's been kind of hard to um, film with everybody bunched up in one area, you know, cause all, all the, uh, all there really is, is, you know, dumbbells, free weights and cables. So the hope going into the gym today is that equipment is ready to go so that people will be, you know, sort of away from the free weights and if there's any good machines we might check them out if they're new um, but at least it'll give us some room to film I just uh, I don't know filming you know when there's just a bunch of people in the gym in one area is just kind of tough um, so that's why we had to uh, you know miss a day of uploading which is unfortunate but uh, we should be back on track chest today another upload on Sunday so back to the normal scheduled programming here with the uh, Olympia prep so today's topic of discussion is pre-workout now I haven't had a legitimate pre-workout in months now um, you know I do sometimes take some pump ingredients or, or some you know certain amino acids that'll, you know, help me achieve a better pump in the gym. But as far as like your standard pre-formulated pre-workout, it's been a while. Um, you know, before I was one of those people that would say, if you're not using a pre-workout, you're kind of not getting everything or at least your full potential out of a workout. But I feel like people kind of weigh in more on the benefits over the risk factor and you know with you know anything that of a high dose of you know whether it's caffeine or you know other stimulants you're simply just gonna you know also have some negative side effects and those are you know really overlooked so one of the side effects for me is that my sleep was pretty shitty for a few months now we're talking like four or five months of uh, sleep under six hours, which is, you know, on average, nearly impossible for for somebody into bodybuilding. So we had to get that straightened out. The sleep back up to eight hours average, thankfully. So we're just kind of sticking to the black coffee. The black coffee has been uh, really working. And, you know, I work during the day and I'm usually lifting in the afternoon and the energy is pretty smooth into the afternoon. Like I don't have some crazy peak energy, maybe like, you know, a couple minutes after you have your first sip of caffeine for the day, I think you kind of just wake up. But from there on, you know, until the nighttime, I'm pretty smooth energy. And then when it comes to bedtime, I'm like ready to go to sleep. Sometimes, you know, if you're taking three, four, some people 500 milligrams of caffeine, you're wired into the, until the middle of the night. So I'd recommend trying to wean off a little bit if you feel like you're addicted in the sense of you need the stimulants to work out. You know, there was a time period where I was going no caffeine just to see, you know, what would happen. Um, wouldn't necessarily recommend just going off cold turkey because it was tough for me to even want to lift with no caffeine, but just one cup of black coffee, man. It's been working for me. So that's what we're on today. Um, it was consumed a few hours ago because we did have some work to get in. But uh, now we're going to get our lift and we're going to smash chest off of one cup of black coffee. So I'm going to go prove that you can still get good workouts in without pre-workout. So I'll see you guys in the gym. All right. So back at it again, chest. So they ended up putting in the new machine. So 
we got some other things to work with after uh, we get done with the necessities, but plan is start like we normally do, take it heavy, try to get off more reps of, you know, the 100, 120 off the flat, and then go from there, so. Yeah. All right, lightweight. Okay, so what I think this gym really needed was some heavier dumbbells. Now, I don't know if that's gonna happen, but you know, we could only hope. So until then, we're just gonna battle with these 120s I mean, we're getting full full sets of 12 now, so it's like, I guess we go to 15. We could try for it. Maybe like 12 good ones. Oh. Summited chest feels like it's been a long time. Gonna try to keep the weight the same and go up to incline. This is as substantially harder as it could possibly get without going up in weight, just bringing the angle up. And I'll probably work a little more incline today. Than less reps but like that set just felt better like the angle I'll probably drop it down like a little bit and go for more reps <sighs> Okay, incline hammer. Well, these are the Nautilus machines, which these are decent. I prefer the hammer. A lot of people like the Nautilus machines though. They're scientifically correct if you're trying to throw form in there, but not that that matters too much. We're gonna just try to throw this around for a few sets. So let's see how it feels. Besides the uh, handles being a little like awkward, it does hit the chest pretty good. So we'll make it work. Still work reps, nothing crazy over here. Just trying to get used to the new machines. And then uh, just go from there. Today's gonna be like an impromptu workout because like I said, I'm, I'm, this is new territory for me. Okay. Oh. 
It holds tension on there pretty good. Like, I'll have to watch it back. I feel like I was like shaking a little bit, but I guess that's a good sign. All right, we're switching over to decline here. Now, the hand placement's a little weird. Like, just kind of like the motion. You got weak wrists going through. So if you see me with wrist cuffs on in the next few weeks, that's probably why. But until then, we're just gonna keep working it. I don't know, what do you think we're hitting? Hit and decline with that one? I think so. All right, just going for chest flexion here. Not gonna take it too heavy. I think two and a quarter is like a sweet spot if you're trying to work both reps and contraction. Just overall throwing weight around. I feel like two and a quarter is solid, so we'll stay here for right now. All right, actually I might take this back one. There we go. Fully customizable. All right, here we go. Oof. 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 Like I said, just gonna take a little getting used to. Yeah, we should be good. The fuck was that? All right, we're back on the incline for one more set because I wanna kinda test how heavy we can really go on this thing. So three plates, probably what we're gonna top out with today because I'm already fatiguing on the chest. Fuck. Shit. Oh man. Harder is not necessarily better. Oh, we're gonna give the pin loaded a shot for the flat and see how it goes. Cool. Cool. We could probably take take it heavier, at least 200. Let's try that next time. Might be a little heavy, so I'm gonna go like kind of hybrid. Try to get inner, but still press off the handles. Okay, shit. <clears throat> I guess we're testing how uh, well put together these machines are today. Well, you already know that, you know, they haven't seen heavy weight yet. So, you know, somebody's gotta test it out. They should uh, pay me for these reviews of these machines right here. All right, gonna run a little bit of cables here. Just gonna try to get a nice squeeze in. 
nothing too heavy. These cables are pretty like compact, so you don't really have to go crazy. Ooh, forgot these are the heavy ones. Try to try to do a side tricep right now, and I'm like, oh, at least I can grab it. Oh, I'm about to hit a little bit of triceps today. Perfect transition into triceps, so I'm gonna work the single arms. Right here, I'm just focusing on that contraction, making sure I'm completely straightened out. Back to triceps. Oh man. All right, we are on the incline treadmill for another day of cardio. I feel like these are the best way to wrap up the video. You guys see me doing cardio. Who knows, maybe you guys might be hopping on with the cardio with me. I had one comment saying, uh, it's a perfect video to watch uh, while I'm doing cardio and I couldn't agree more. So if you guys aren't, get that cardio going, get a solid routine, constant routine. And uh, yeah, you'll see the benefits mentioned previously we're kind of switching away from the stairmaster doing a little more incline treadmill this is like the highest the incline treadmill is going to go it's a 15 percent incline at three miles an hour steady trying to squeeze the glutes at the bottom pretty much everything the uh stairmaster would benefit you by you get that here at a faster pace and for me, I don't find myself grabbing the rails as much, so it's good in that sense, but whew, gonna go about 10, 15 minutes, steady pace. But uh, yeah, other than that, good chest and try day. A little awkward on the new machines, but we'll get used to it eventually. The back machines look pretty good. There's a couple, uh, good leg machines it looks like so we'll have to give those a try so stay tuned because it's gonna be all new all new shit
which is good. Let's see if I got any questions I can answer. Question about carbs intro workout. Now, I was never a big, you know, carb intro workout type of guy. Back in the uh, baseball days, I would have, you know, like a Gatorade or some simple sugars during the game, but you gotta understand, you know, baseball games are two and a half, sometimes three hours. So when you're going that long in the gym, you know, you might need something to fuel you, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend a steady pace, less time between sets, you know, get in, get the job done, get out, feed the muscle. You know, it's different than playing a long baseball game. So hour and a half, two hours max in the gym, go home, get some food, no bloating, you know, sometimes that intra workout stuff might make you bloated. It's gonna, you know, do more harm than good, you know, at higher doses. If it's just like a little bit, then it's okay. But if you're chugging like a big carb shake, wouldn't recommend it. Like all that, like rich piana, eight hour arms, 16 shakes, like all that's BS, you know. They're just trying to oversell you on a product. So, you know, don't buy into that stuff. Do what works for you, find your rhythm, and, uh, you know, stick with it. You'll see the benefits. All right, so we're like five minutes in, not, haven't touched the uh, rails, which is good. Gonna try to finish it out just like this. Steady pace, it's already burning. You know, it's hot over here. So that's why I like this corner. But we are looking into getting a treadmill for the house. Once that thing comes in, I'll probably do either the intro or the outro from home. So that'll be nice. I can answer some more questions. But until then, day 33, still TBD. Maybe, I don't know. It might possibly be back on a leg day. We are a little thrown off due to the uh, hiatus that I had. So hopefully that doesn't happen again anytime soon. Back on track. So if you haven't already, think about subscribing. We've got a lot of days left in this thing, so we're only just beginning. So like the video, comment down below if you have any questions. I'm gonna answer it in the next one. So with that, I'll see you guys in day 33. Peace.